Donald Healy Motor Company Limited was a British car manufacturer. Topic: History. The business was founded in 1945 by Donald Healy, a successful car designer and rally driver. Healy discussed sports car design with Achille Sampietro, a chassis specialist for high performance cars, and Ben Bowden, a body engineer, when all three worked at Humber during World War II. Topic. Healy Motorcars Healy's new enterprise focused on producing expensive, high-quality, high-performance cars. It was based in an old aircraft components factory off Miller Road in Warwick. There he was joined by Roger Minadu from Armstrong Whitworth to run the experimental workshop. In later years they also had a now demolished showroom formerly a cinema on Emscote Road, Warwick, commemorated by a new block of flats called Healy Court. The cars mainly used a tuned version of the proven Riley Twin Cam 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine in a light steel box section chassis of their own design using independent front suspension by coil springs and alloy trailing arms with girling dampers. The rear suspension used a Riley live axle with coil springs again. Advanced design allowed soft springing to be combined with excellent road holding. Lockheed hydraulic brakes were used. When it was introduced in 1948, the Elliott Saloon was claimed to be the fastest production closed car in the world, timed at 104.7 miles per hour over a mile. The aerodynamic body design was the work of Benjamin Bowden and unusually for the time it was tested in a wind tunnel to refine its efficiency. This was the start of aerodynamic styling for reduced drag, that culminated in Bowden's last UK offering, the Zethron Rennsport. In 1949 the most sporting of all the Heelys, the Silverstone, was announced. It had a shorter chassis and stiffer springing and was capable of 107 miles per hour. It is now a highly sought after car and many of the other Heelys have been converted into Silverstone replicas. These cars had numerous competition successes including class wins in the 1947 and 1948 Alpine rallies and the 1949 Mill Miglia. Topic. Nash Healy Government planning and controls required any substantial expansion of production to be for the export market alone. So in 1950 Healy built the Nash Healy using a Nash Ambassador engine with Sioux carburetors and Nash gearbox. Initially the 3,848cc unit was used but when in 1952 body construction was transferred from Healy to Pininfarina the larger 4,138cc engine was fitted. <laughs> Production numbers The final Healy car of this era was the G-Type using an Alvis TB21 engine and gearbox. This was more luxurious and heavier than the Riley engine models and performance suffered. Riley engine cars Nash and Alvis engine cars Austin Healy. Healy judged a cheaper sports car marketable in large numbers was needed to save the business, one that would fit between the MG and Jaguar cars then selling so well in USA. Working in with his eldest son Jeffrey in the attic of the family home, Healy designed a two-seat roadster employing numerous low-cost Austin components, the Austin Healy 100. 
Austin Chief Sir Leonard Lord was so impressed when he saw it on the Healy stand at the 1952 Earl's Court Motor Show he offered to make it in his own factories under the name Austin Healy. The result was a 1953 a joint venture which created the British Motor Corporation to manufacture the Austin Healy mark. The 100 evolved into the highly regarded and collector coveted 3 liter Austin Healey 3000, followed by a diminutive 950cc Austin Healey Sprite, known affectionately as the Frog Eye or Bug Eye. Commenting on the 3000 after Donald Healey's death, The Times observed, The big Healey's brutally firm ride, heavy steering, and engine so close it would roast a driver's feet never detracted from the superb, timeless styling and classic proportions. <laughs> Jensen Healey Donald Healey became a director of Jensen Motors in the late 1960s and a result of this was the Lotus engine Jensen Healey which appeared in 1972. <laughs> Sale Donald Healey Motor Company was finally sold to the Hamblin Group, although Healey Automobile Consultants and the engineering parts of the company remained in the hands of Jeffrey and Donald Healey. See also List of car manufacturers of the United Kingdom equals equals notes <laughs>